Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 1, Session 4, Markdown. Within retail, there are two common types of markdowns, your POS or point of sale markdown, which is a temporary promotional markdown. The second is a permanent markdown, also known as a hard markdown. One type of a temporary markdown is a percent discount. The percent discount is a POS markdown because the discount is taken at the time the sale is completed. The promotion is noted via signage. The consumer will see the items still tagged at the regular price and the cashier will discount the merchandise accordingly as they complete the sales transaction. The idea of a percent discount is to bring more customers into your store and purchase more items. Logo is a type of POS markdown. Retailers love them as they're designed to move inventory because the consumer must purchase more products. A BOGO is a buy one, get one. It can be a discount or it could be the second one is for free. With the buy one, get one promotion, if a consumer selects a higher margin item with a lower margin item, it is usually the lower margin item that is discounted. When blending both items together, the margins are not impacted as drastically as what they would be if it was a blanket 50% off all items. When you're doing a BOGO as a buy one, get one 50% off, you're still saving the impact on your margins, as it's only the second item that is 50% off. The consumer believes they're getting a great deal, but as you can see from our example on the slide, they're actually only saving 25%. When it's time to plan your markdowns within your MFP application, you must think about what type of markdown you are planning, a POS, point of sale, or permanent markdown. Your permanent is a hard markdown and it's related to inventory. It devalues your inventory, impacting the balance set. When I update my sales dollars, the value previously entered for my permanent markdown dollar will hold and my rate will update. The POS markdown is to increase traffic, increase my item spend and it relates to sales. The POS markdown also impacts the balance set similar to sales. When I update my sales dollars, my POS markdown dollars will update and my rate will hold. In MFP, we have inverse rule calculations. Your POS and permanent markdowns follow these inverse rule calculations. Once you have input your original plan within the metrics, sales, markdown dollars, and markdown rate, when you change a metric, some metrics will hold and another will update. In this example, I will hold my sales dollars, update my markdown dollars, and the markdown rate or percent will update as will the end of period inventory recalculate. This rule is the same for both POS and permanent markdowns. Once again, I'm going to hold my sales. They will remain the same. I'm going to change my markdown percent and that will update my markdown dollars. My end of period inventory will then be recalculated. Similar to the previous example, both POS and permanent markdowns follow the same rule. Lastly, with the inverse rule calculations, we're going to update our sales. Your POS will respond differently than your permanent markdown, unlike the last two examples. When I update my sales for the POS, my markdown dollars will change and my rate will hold. This is because of the relationship between POS markdowns and sales. When I update my sales plan with the permanent markdown, my markdown dollars will hold and my rate will update, and this is due to the relationship with inventory.